If you're a photographer, graphic designer, or digital artist looking at the HP Envy X360, you found the right video. We're gonna look at the Photoshop benchmark because with it being the most intensive tool inside of Adobe's design suite, it's gonna tell us how well this laptop will perform for the entire design suite, Figma, Sketch, and the Affinity Suite. First and foremost, this laptop comes with the Ryzen 7 5700U with 16 gigs of RAM. If you're looking for this laptop with eight gigs of RAM, know that you're gonna see a decrease in performance by about 200 points. Once you increase it up to about 64 gigs of RAM, you're gonna see a jump in 100 points from 16, and you're gonna see a jump from 16 gigs to 32 gigs of about 60 points. So honestly, optimized, this laptop is best at 16 gigs of RAM. Now, another question that pops up is dual channel RAM versus single channel. If you're using this laptop with dual channel RAM, rather than just buying one single 16 gig stick, you're gonna see much better performance. This laptop is really optimized for dual channel, as you see at this test, where we looked at 32 gigs of RAM, dual channel versus single channel. Now, regarding battery life in Photoshop, what I do is I run the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark continuously to see how well this battery can handle intense Photoshop work. It does pretty well compared to most laptops that I've reviewed on my channel, but I would still recommend bringing that charger along with you as it's not really an all day battery for a strong Photoshop task workflow. The NVX360 has really good control over the fan modes, which is actually pretty rare for a thin and light laptop. You can quickly jump into the HP Command Center and control your fans on quiet, balanced, or performance mode. Now on performance mode is where you're gonna get the best scores and most performance, but you're gonna run at about 44 decibels. However, if you drop it down to balance mode, you'll see about 32 decibels of fan noise, but you'll see a slight decrease in performance in Photoshop. And if you go to quiet mode, you should have no fan noise, but again, you're gonna drop your scores a little bit. However, this is helpful if you're in like a quiet classroom setting and you don't wanna disturb anybody with your loud fans. But if you're in your home's office or in your dorm room, whatever it might be, you got some headphones on, you don't mind the noise, then this thing really packs a punch inside of design and photo editing tools. With an all aluminum chassis, thin and light on the go capabilities, and a solid color accurate screen, this laptop is spot on for creative professionals. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you in the next video.